stop playing stoic. This is ridiculous. General, you are a soldier of the Queen, Tahar. And for the past eight years, you have served us well. Not only that, you even went as far as to refuse obedience to your father. But, killing five of your brethren in cold blood, and refusing a royal order... But this is ridiculous! The general was wrong, for heck's sake! The blood burn is not contagious! What should we have done? Slot Blazes, are you that ignorant or just plain stupid, Carpal? These elves would have told you anything. They were the ones who betrayed our treaty in the... But I'm done explaining myself. This is a waste of time. You're a murderer, Tahar. I should have seen that right away, but I didn't. And the same goes for you, Carpal. You're a disgrace to the Wolfguard. <sighs> Tell me one thing, Tahar. Do you have any regrets? This isn't about regrets. These villagers were innocent, and I tried to do what was necessary to save them. That's it. No. You acted based on information by people who broke a decades-old treaty. And even if they hadn't, what tells you that they were right? Corporal Tahar. Corporal Carpal. You are hereby found guilty of murdering five soldiers of the Royal Army and insubordinate. Take them to the dungeons. That's it. Pardon? Since you've been sitting here, I've been wondering why your face looks so bloody familiar. Now I remember. I saw you in the courtyard, back when they took me to my... How did they call it? Trial? You're one of them, aren't you? I don't know. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it was you. I'm guessing I should be mad at you, shouldn't I? For serving these idiots. But, as it seems, we're sitting in the same dirt, so... Just call me Tahar. Tahar? As in, Isamo Tahar? He was my father, yes. But I fought him in the Mage Wars. Huh. None of my bit. So, tell me, Tahar, what brings you to this wonderful place? Came to enjoy some nice hours of sitting in rat crap and hear... I hate to disappoint, but it gets boring after a while. I think you know what I'm here for. I'm sentenced to die on the pike. Oh, I see. How come? If I'm not mistaken, you're Wolfguard, aren't you? I was a corporal and refused an order. Oh? Long story. In short, he wanted to prevent a plague called the Bloodburn from spreading- Which was? The Bloodburn isn't contagious. <sighs> Blazes. Sometimes I wonder what's wrong with- I got ambushed. Soldiers of House Leoniter, as they called themselves. I knew I shouldn't have done it, you know? <laughs> Use my magic, but in that moment... What did you do? I only remember fragments. Two of them lunged at me, I grabbed their arms and let my light magic run free. It was over in less than a minute. I... I didn't even know I could do that. Light magic can kill? It can drain, yes. It's not what it's made for, but none the... And I take it you got caught? No, not at first, but I'd rather not talk about it. They're going to kill us. And, you know, there is still a part in me that thinks this is all a bad dream. Are you... Are you afraid? No. Hmm. Then I wish we could swap places for a while. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I haven't given up yet. We're in a prison. How did you guess? Doesn't change the fact that I've searched every part of my cell and there's absolutely nothing. But yours is a lot bigger. Like what? A magical key? No, a fragile bar in the walls. Something that can help us pick a lock. Whatever. Or maybe start by taking a look at that breakthrough in the wall behind you.
Hmm. So? See anything? Nothing. It's a dead end. Shit. Well, that explains why they haven't repaired it. Then keep looking. What's that? What are you looking at? I don't know. Some sort of grate. There's something stuck down there. Looks like a piece of metal. Are you serious? Get it! I'm trying, but... Oh, shit! They will fall. Ellen's reins. Are you alright? I... I think so. What was that? A tunnel spider. Just yesterday, one of the prisoners... Shit. But you killed... And I have that nail. Right, the nail. See if you can find a thread or something like that. That way we could make a lockpick. A lockpick? What do you think this is? A child's cane? Just ignore him. Now would you look at that? Hmm. Whoever that belongs to, I doubt he's still alive. Hmm? Nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Iria, I found something here. It looks like a piece of- Great! One of the- That's it. Now put it- All right, scum. Time to wake up. Defilers? Those two. Isn't that... The Betrayer's child. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I am Rondar Lacane, the Harbinger of Light. And you are here because you've sinned. I don't know how, and it doesn't matter. But the Light has found you guilty. I... Mercy! Please, sir! I have children! A wife! I... Quiet, scum! Don't. He's afraid. And he should be. So, I'm here for a simple reason. You, the Defilers, are beyond repentance. But you three, you may not be. If you admit your sins now and accept the light into your life, you may be given a second chance. You may be born again as servants of Aeonair. The choice is yours. Child? I don't think he can hear you, Your Holiness. Why? I believe my instructions were clear. If they are not defilers, they are not to die. Until they have been given a chance. I, I know, Your Holiness. But he was already weak when the soldiers brought him here. He, he must have had some untended wounds. Hmm. I see. Well, may the light have mercy on you. I repent! Please, Your Holiness, I repent! You do? Yes! Then confess. I... Confess that you have done wrong. Confess that you are corrupted. Confess that your life is... And confess that it is only this... I... I confess. Then rise. And be... <sighs> Open the door, child. And take him away. I will join you in the courtyard. Are you certain, Your Holiness? I am. Leave. Of course. What a lunatic. If they repent, do they really let them live? Depends on what you call living. From what I've been told, these newborn have to give their life to the purity. But yes, they will live. What now? No idea. But as long as that priest fellow is here, we have no way to get out unseen. I... wait. Do you hear that? Sally. You heard it, didn't you? That voice, yes. That... Huh. That's interesting. You aren't making any sense. I... <sighs> the blood burn. Only that it's some kind of magical plague. A magical plague? Yes, that's one. Six months ago, before the first occurrence of the blood burn, Ian and I woke up in a wide, empty desert. The sun was... I began to walk, until I saw the walls of a beautiful, giant city, white as marble. When I reached the gates, they were wide open. By then, the sun had become even more intense. 
I entered the city and found the streets deserted. I can't remember for how long I walked, but it must... You met Aeonir? Yes. I don't think that you as a non-believer could possibly... He told me that the blood burn was imminent, and how we can cure it. And why does Aeonir... Because he's preparing... What? I'm surprised you don't know. Aeonir is preparing his return. And once we, the purity of light, have prepared the world, one of equality, peace, and harmony. No more magic, no more cast. What makes you so sure it was a vision? I just know. As I said, I don't expect you to understand. If the purity already knew that much about the General Noria slaughtered an entire village because he... We did tell him. But you know the King Regent. He's not a man of faith. We needed proof. Something a godless... So, how can we cure it? Well, that's where you come in. I wasn't certain at first, but now I am. He told me that there's someone who would play a pivotal role in all this, whose blood... And you believe that's me? I do. Let me tell you a story. I went there, together with six of my priests, to follow up on my vision. Witnessing that bloodbath, it had broken him. However, he was still- Hang on. You're saying that this sing- Correct. And since, according to that elven healer, the words of the- <laughs> Nonsense. Actually, he might be right. Lord Marshal Arendir told me something similar. Noises before- All right, now I'm lost. If this song causes the blood burn, why are you the first to make that- Because not everybody hears it. Only those who are magically gifted do, and both of you are. And that leads me to believe that you, Tahar, are the one Aenir spoke of, the pariah, who will help us put an end to the blood burn. So being a mage protects- Having magic in you, that's a big difference. Using magic, giving in to the temptation, is- But yes, being gifted seems to allow hearing the song and protects against the blood burn. The Moorhir elves told me they were affected by the blood burn too. They do. And that's very interesting. Hmm. If Aenir chose me, why didn't he just send me the vision himself? You're making the mistake of trying to apply human logic to a divine being. Hmm. And if we help you, does that mean we'll be spared? Will you get us out of here? It won't be easy, but yes. I will. Whatever you want me to do, if I'm to help you, you'll free Iria as well. Of course. She may be a defiler, but her ability to hear the song makes her as valuable as you are. If this song forebodes the Bloodburn... Well, something else we learned about the Bloodburn is that it's unpredictable. There might be an outbreak, or there might not be. And it might be just a servant who dies. If that's the case, shouldn't you be if I'm not. I am with Aenir. Well, that's... convenient. So, you're saying there's no pattern at all? No, I did not say that. What I said is that we have not understood the pattern yet. There isn't much of a choice, is there? If we don't help you, we'll be ex- Yes. But even if your situation were different, helping us would be in your best interest. If we don't stop the- And also, being chosen by Aeonir is a great honor. One, some of my fa- A friend of mine has been sentenced to death, too. His name is Bertrand Carpel. Can you get him- Bertrand Carpel? Yes. Yes. I don't know where he is, though. Mm. Then I'll see what I can do. Though your escape is more important right now. I know, and thank you. It's Aeonir's will. There are some arrangements I have to make first. Give me a few moments. Two more things before you set out. First, you'll have to use the sewers to escape. There's an entrance in the tower's cellar that leads through the mountains. Get out of the prison. Once you are out of the fortress, leave the city and head to Farland's Hope. It's a small village to the northwest in Iskander. There you'll meet with a contact of ours, an expert on Shaper culture. His name is Iskrim, and he's a dwarven scholar. We said Mullendir? The ancient city of the Shapers, yes. So, you want us to help that dwarf find Mullendir, don't you? Isn't it obvious? To find clues about the song. What if we just kill you instead? Right here. What the? Do you want to? No, I don't. <laughs> then why are you asking? All right. 
Anything I should know about- Nothing I haven't already told you. You will have plenty of time to acquaint you. If I'm not mistaken, the Purity has quite some followers now. Good question. Simply put, there are... How do we find the Dwarf? Will he- It's possible, but I doubt it. Once you arrive there, you should talk to the village mayor, Clara Farlin. She works for the Purity, and will pre- Sent by the light. There is. Here. What is that? A r what, what the heck? What, what was that? The rune. It imprinted itself on you. Imprinted? What is that thing? Hard to answer. To put it shortly, they are a gift of Aeonir to us as his servants. They protect us. If the bearer of such a rune loses his life, he will be revived by Aeonir's light. Did you just say... Revived, yes. You're joking, right? No magic on Eo. The magic you're talking about is the magic of a past era. As I told you, Tahar, Aeonir's light outshines all. He was the first in this world, and he will... So, these things may... Not immortal, no. But they provide you with a chance. Should you die and be brought back to life, the rune will lose a part. Its energy will take you to one of Aeonir's shrines. And there, your body... Aeonir's shrine? You are talking about the Elam Sar. Yes, I am. Though most people call them the Godstones. And then what? <laughs> You'll see. Either way, we shouldn't waste any more time. Now go. Head to Farland's Hope. Find the Dwarf and find Mullandir. All right. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Hmm? The two of us. We are more alike than you think. You are searching for something. What are you getting at? Well, you see, I'm not a fool. I know you haven't seen the light as I have, and I do not expect your loyalty. But as I said before, your blood, your lineage, it is... But I've wasted enough of your time. Farewell, Tahar. Farewell, Iriar of Finan Mir. We will meet again. Just give the word. Ground.
Wait. We'll hold our ground. Yes? All right. So that just happened. What now? Let's just get out of here. Okay. We should probably get our gear back. There. I think this is um, where they put our gear. Don't you want to get your gear back first? Wait. Do you feel that? Yeah. The rune. It's reacting to something. And I think I know what. Do you see that stone over there? That's a godstone. I think we should try to join the rune with it, like the Harbinger suggested. Let's see. Ah, <sighs> much better. Indeed. Odd that this place is unguarded, though. Don't jinx it. That's... interesting. This magic... Is it just me, or does it feel... I don't know... different? That's one way to put it. Then I take it this isn't ordinary light magic? No, not at all. As I said, it's different from all magic I've seen. So not sure how much I like the thought of me being lit. That makes two of us. Either way, the rune did react to it. As you resurrected. You did? Hmm, a fork. Any ideas which way to take? You know this place. Not as well as I'd like. And the other one? I don't know. But it leads farther down the mountain. I'm guessing they used it to smuggle booze. Hmm. So either we risk fighting dozens of guards or getting lost. I'm not sure. Mine? No idea. This is my first time in this wonderful place, remember? Let's try the caves. Yeah, makes sense. Then let's go. Caves. You were right. But... Hmm. That's not an ordinary lock. Looks like part of a mechanism to me. I didn't know you were an expert on locks. Well, there are some things you pick up when you're on the road for a while. Question is, how do we get this open? And why did they guard it with a mechanism in the first place? It might be a secret escape route. They're all over great- And when fleeing, the last thing you'd want to happen is not having the right key at hand. Figures. Let's take a look around. There has to be a switch or something. That did something, but... wait. Enlighten me. It's a Cathayan lock. There's probably another... Let's find it. Sure. That's the second switch, but we were too slow. We need to pull them simultaneously. Uh-huh. Yes, that did it. Indeed. Let's take a look at these caves, shall we? Sounds like a plan. Mm. 
Fair enough. Let's do this. You read my mind. Helen's reigns. I hate these things. Seems this entrance wasn't used in a while after all. Let's see. Great. A storm. This might play into our hands, though. There'll be a lot less people to sneak or fight. The bridge leading back to the courtyard should be just up that hill. Let's go. Would you look at that? Understood. Found it. Really? Is it just me or do Nortander guards have a habit of leaving their stuff lying around unattended? Seems like it. Let's just be grateful. Interesting. Will do. You got it. Hold on. Do you see that? Yeah. Patrols. Hmm. I don't think they'd recognize us right away. Let's just not get too close and try to act normal. Got it. Yes? Sounds like a plan.
interesting. Got it. Sure. All I'm saying is I don't like these dressed up idiots acting as if they're the ones making the laws now. What would you have the Lord Marshal do? The people believe in them. If whoever the people believed in would be in power, unicorns we run in this country now. What the commoners need is a strong hand to guide them. Not some lunatic babbling on about the return of the Allfather. How do you know it's just lunacy? I can't believe you just said that. Guys, the crowd isn't paying us for chatter. If you two want to bicker, get yourselves a chamber. With over 7,000 soldiers stationed in Greykeep, the fortress's need for food and drink is immense, requiring equally immense space to store them. What few people know... Here we are. Now where's that secret sewer entrance the Harbinger was talking about? No idea. I've never been to this part of the keep. Okay. Yeah, they noticed we're gone. We need to move quickly. reason. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be... Rotting in a cell. You better have a damn good explanation for this, Corporal. It's not how it looks, Alistair. You don't know the whole story. What are you... Why are we even listening? We know what he did. Yes, you know what I did. I tried to save a bloody village, and now they want to kill me? Forget it. But he had to do it. If he hadn't purged that village, the Bloodburn might have spread to- See, that's where you're wrong. That's where you're all wrong. The Bloodburn isn't contagious. It's a curse. <sighs> that night in the Kraken, didn't you tell me you still dream of that child? That you're- That's what I did. And I'm not gonna- But how do you know? What? How do you know it's just a curse?
The Harbinger of Light told me. They know all about it. The Harbinger. Right, of course. What else would the Holy Harbinger- No, you don't. I'm sick of this. You've had your fun, Tahar, but this ends here. Interesting. Yes, whatever's necessary. They will fall. It's over. They didn't leave us any choice. Was he... I mean, was he your friend? He was. But we made it. That's what matters. Yeah, I guess. Now would you look at that. That way? Mm -hmm. There! That must be the entrance the Harbinger was talking about. It All right. And what- It's an Iskander. A four-day journey. Maybe a bit more. Mm. You do realize we don't have to do this, right? I don't think so. Lacane would find us. And if what he says is true... Wait, you actually believe that? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. But I think for now we should... Yeah, I guess you're right. I wouldn't know where to go anyway. Alright then, Corporal. Lead the way and I'll follow. Mm hmm. With Aelot Iskander executed for allying with your father during the Mage Wars, the Iskander lands have since fallen into anarchy. On your journey, you've met many travelers, sunken-cheeked figures who've told you stories about having lost their homes to bannerless soldiers and bandits. They have also told you something else. That a once deserted village has come back into bloom, offering refuge to those without shelter. Fallen's hope. All right, let's see. According to our map, Farland's hopes... We need to be careful, though. From what I've heard, things have become pretty grim in Iskander after the rebellion. You know, bandits, roaming monsters... I know. We'll be on... Good. Then let's get going.
So, what's the plan? Will do. What do you mean I can't pass? We need to get fresh water! Look, ma'am, it's the commander's orders. No villagers beyond the outskirts. I don't give a rat's ass about the commander. Let me through! I won't. Now bugger off. Go talk to the commander or Clara if you want to shout at someone. I'll be back. All right, we found Farland's hope. So, what's your plan? Shall we just walk in there and tell everyone we're sent by the Harbinger of Light? No. Let's look for that mare and use the code word Lacane gave us. He'll know what to do. Sounds good. Now that's a face I haven't seen before. Where are you from? It we're not. Actually, we are sent by the Light and are looking to meet a contact here. So you're the ones Lacane was talking about. But anyway, I'm Clara Farlin, mayor of this beautiful- Judging by that look in your eyes, you probably want to get straight to the point. Yes. Is he in the village? No, he's not. But I can tell you where he is, under one condition. All right, what do you want? What? No bickering? That's a pleasant surprise. To be brief, about two months ago, orcs invaded Iskander. And it seems they are set on destroying our village. Our militia is doing its best to keep them at bay, but the situation- If we can join your militia. Pretty much, yes. If we don't get rid of the orcs soon, Farland's hope will be history. And also, they've got your dwarf. Why would the orcs attack you? It's been decades since- Dear, I don't know. If I did, I would have tried to reason with them. But they seem to be from a particularly se- The orcs took Isgrim? They haven't told me their motivation, so I don't know. But I'm get- I only know this because one of our scouts told me the orcs- So he's alive, but in the hands of the orcs. That's both good and bad news. Well, seems that we have no choice then. Wait a second. Weren't you a corporal in the Royal Army before all- I was. Until they try to execute me, remember? Yes, but that doesn't change anything about your experience, does it? I think we should talk to the local- Hold on a second, darling. Are you suggesting we let a stranger take over our militia? Temporarily, yes. Look, Madam Farlan, I know how this sounds, but this is a- But- oh, Fair enough. Maybe this is worth a try. Truth be told, Commander Mart hasn't done much but yell at people anyway. Go and tell him I sent you. Then, help him prepare an attack on the orc camps. Ah, and one more thing. Try to be sensible, will you? Just tell him who you are and how you can help. He's, well, quite the character. So, Tahar, tell me something. Yes? Isamo Tahar the Mage Rebel is your father. I got that. But who? Is my mother. Yeah. She's dead. She died while giving birth to me. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. As I said, I never knew her. Let's see. Yes, yes! Come closer! I'm sure I have just what you need.
offer. Yes? The best wares from Kalea to Nortander. Pleasure doing business with you. Come again! I'm getting new wares by the next moon's turn. Looking for potions and scrolls? I'm sure I have just what you need. Hmm? 
beast! Blazes! Fend them off! Don't let them through! You read my mind. For fuck's sake! Are you sodding idiots drunk or just stupid? I told you to keep your formation! Clean this mess up, somebody! Got it. Are you Mart? It's Commander Mart, and yes, I am. What does she want? I'm busy. With what exactly? That mug of ale over there? How funny. Because right now, I'm the only thing that stands between this place and a pack of rampaging orcs, tearing it to fucking pieces! Poor orcs. They must be horrified. You got anything else to say? If not, get the- I'm sorry, Commander. Sometimes my friend just can't help himself. It's really important, otherwise we- Well, spit it out then. What does she want? Well, Clara said you might need some help with the militia. Does she now? Well, I don't. Thanks for your offer. According to Clara, if these orcs aren't taken care of soon, the village will be overrun. I understand your reluctance, but we can help you. You forgot to mention that you're a seasoned corporal of the Royal Army. Royal Army? Ha! <laughs> you people are the reason we got into this bloody mess in the first place! No, not a chance! Look, we're different. Let us prove it. You're a tenacious one, aren't you? Alright, fine. There's a small orc and goblin camp nearby. Scouts by the look of them. If you're as tough as you say you are, it should be easy for you to deal with them, shouldn't it? Alright, I'll do it. Where are those camps? Do you have a map? Here. That's where they were last seen. Good luck, Corporal. Hunting goblins. 